I work with an organization called Oregon Women's Land Trust. We're a 501c3 nonprofit, and we have a mission to provide access to land for women and uh, land wisdom for women. We got a letter from a gas company that said that they wanted to put a pipeline through our property. They showed us the potential route through our property, and it's called the Jordan Cove Project. And at that time, they wanted to import gas from Russia to bring it to California. We thought that was a pretty stupid idea to depend on Russia for our energy sources, right? And so we spent years fighting this. And in 2009, FERC, Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, who makes these decisions, our federal government, approved it. And um, meanwhile, one of our members died of ovarian cancer. And she wanted to be buried on our farm. And we looked around, uh, and really the only good place we could find, and we said, sorry, Carol, I mean, the only good place we can find is right in the path of the pipeline. And Carol said, great. If I could be uh, obstruction from the grave, that would be my, my best wish. So Carol did die, and we had a wonderful ceremony for her and buried her on the property, and there she is. And so the company changed their mind, and they didn't act on that approval that they got from FERC. Instead, they said, we want to export gas. And now the pipeline route goes through the northern part of our property, through our very best, oldest forest that we love so much, and through the BLM old growth forest, decimating the spotted owl that actually we provided habitat for. They can bury the pipe higher. They can use thinner pipes. They can have less inspections and less welds, and there's a whole slew of safety features that they can cut out when it goes through rural areas. And 80% of this pipeline in Oregon is through a rural area, so they're saving lots of money. And we object to that. You know, we, we are not an acceptable risk. Why our, li our lives are any less important than lives in urban areas?